Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back. Look, y'all gonna have to cut me some slack today for two reasons. One, it's Houston and it's springtime and springtime does not love me. I love springtime, but my allergies are kicking my butt right now. Anyways, number two is, I've just recorded this video. This is the third time I've recorded this review. The other two reasons why I had to record it, none of your business right now. But this is the third time, so y'all gonna have to bear with me because I'm a little frustrated. So let's get into it right now. I wanna review these Case Logic Luminosity bags right here. These are the best bags, in my opinion, for a mirrorless camera. So, you know, mirrorless cameras are actually almost half the size of a DSLR these days. And that's what I've moved on to. I actually use the Sony uh, A6000 and I use the Sony A5100. And I have various lenses for both of them. And I like to carry them all. I like to carry all my equipment sometimes because you just never know what you're going to need. Sometimes you know exactly what you need. So that's why I got these two bags sitting here. So let's swap these because I want to talk about the big boy first. All right. So this is the Case Logic Luminosity uh, series of bags. I don't know what model number this is. I'll leave the link in the description right here. But basically, it's a messenger style bag. And uh, you got these two little clasps right here to open up the flap. But then there's some Velcro underneath here, too. But let's take a tour outside of the bag. So you got this two tone kind of design right here, where it's got some ballistic type of material right here. And then it's got this kind of, I don't know, textured nylon. And then if you move around the sides of the bag, you got these two pockets. Uh, you can put water bottles or extra batteries or something in there if you want to. Then on the back side, you've got your padded surface. This is the part that goes up against your body. It's nice and soft, almost like a backpack, to be honest with you. And this is one of my favorite parts about this bag, man. It's got a detachable strap. I hate messengers with straps that I can't take off. Sometimes I don't want a strap on my messenger bag. Sometimes I just want to grab it by the handle. And this one lets me do that. You just tuck that in there right there and keep it moving. It does come with a strap though. So it's got a pad on here and you can, of course, lengthen it or shorten it if you need to. And it's, it's all good. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. That's why I actually like having that option. So let me go ahead and tuck this back in. Now let's open up the bag. Oh, wait, before we do, there's another surprise in this bag. And this is why I like the Luminosity Collection so much. Let's say you're out and about, you're doing your thing, you're shooting up some stuff, and uh, now this dark cloud starts hovering, and you're like, oh crap, I gotta get out of here. But you just remember, you got your Luminosity bag, man. And your Luminosity bag comes with its own bathing suit. Oh man, this bad boy has his own bathing suit, man. I'm so fired up about this. You just open this little flap right there and you pull out your little bathing suit. It's like a shower cap for your bag. So check this out. You just make sure, you see, you get the smaller portion up top, just like that. And it's gonna be hard to do on camera, but you just kind of flip it over here like a little baby. And you put a little diaper on it. And you just kind of scoop it around the bottom. Bam, bam. Put your two little Velcro straps there. And then you can still have it around your body with the straps on because it's got these two little straps right there. But remember, the back side of it is still exposed, so you want to keep it close to your body or just you know hold it like this but, uh, until you get it out of the rain. But man, it comes with its own bathing suit, man. That's crazy. All right, so let's now we can go in the inside of the bag. I'm all fired up about this now. All right, so take that little diaper off, and then we can unbuckle these bad boys right here. So you got two options, okay? One is you got the one is you got the two clap, you got the two buckles right here, and that's always going to be an option. But you know, sometimes you just want to lay it down and clap it just like that. Then you got your velcro right there. What if you're a photographer and you're in kind of a quiet environment and you can't have that going on? Okay, so you just kind of undo this right here. Man, they thought of everything with this bag. Now you don't have to worry about that. But me, I'm kind of a savage, so I just you know I make all the noise I want to, and I can attach it right there. And sometimes I like to leave my bag propped open, so I just pop it open right there with that little velcro pad right there. All right, so let's take a tour inside of this bag. All right, you got your zippers right there. They've got, they've got these little things on there so you can kind of rip it real easy. And you flip it down. It actually comes with this pretty blue microfiber cleaning cloth with some branding on it. That's cool, it's got a little barcode too. I guess it takes you to their site so you can buy more crap, right? So, <laughs> so in here, you got this front pocket, which uh, I just keep my microfiber cleaning cloth in. And it's actually kind of deep. It goes all the way to the bottom. Uh, the second pocket is padded on both sides, and I keep an extra set of headphones in there just in case. Let me see, I've got two batteries in there. I use the A6000 and the A5100, they both use the same battery, so I just keep extras in there in that front pocket. And then I keep my tripod mount because I have two. One is always on my tripod, and I keep one with me because I don't know, I just end up losing them or not bringing them with me, so I always just keep an extra one in there. All right, so let's move it to the main compartment. Now it's totally customizable in here, and I've got it set up into three different compartments. I've got a compartment right here with my tripod in here. This is my Manfrotto Pixie. I think it's a Pixie Plus or a Pixie Two, I don't know. But it's a little tripod. I like having it in there because you 
just never know when you're gonna need a little table tripod or kind of a, a monopod. Not a selfie stick, it's a monopod. And then you hold it out just like that. Uh, I like to keep that in that front pocket. Also in this front little compartment I've made, I like to keep my, um, my voice recorder. Uh, this is my Sony voice recorder. I don't know what model it is. I'll link it in the description. And my lavalier. Um, so this little setup right here allows me to record all my audio, which I'm not using right now because I'm actually recording for the purpose of this video. I'm actually recording everything on my cell phone right now. So this is what this uh, Galaxy S7 video quality is like. So that's where I keep that. And then let's look in here. Okay, I've, I've kind of made, you see how that flips down just like that? It's got a little flap. I like having that flap because sometimes I don't want everything exposed because I still have an area on top where I can just lay stuff on top. But then if I reach in here, I've got ugh, my 16 millimeter pancake lens. This is a prime lens. It does not have image stabilization. That's the only thing I wish it had. It would probably be, it would, it'd probably be bigger if it did. But I like this lens because it's super compact. And if I just want to take my A5100, which is in that same compartment, if I want to take that A5100, it makes it super small and I can get nice wide 16 millimeter shots with it. Um, A5100 in that back, the pancake lens. This is the, um, this is the kit lens. So all that fits in there. And then in my third compartment, I stash my beautiful A6000. Man, I love this camera. This thing is a boss. Uh, it's got the 35 millimeter prime lens attached to it with op uh, optical steady shot. Man, I'll tell you what, this lens right here makes me look like a photographer, even though I don't know what I'm doing at all. Um, great lens, but you know, it's, it's, it's a mirrorless camera and it's small. It's smaller than a DSLR, but it's still a larger camera. So I'll put that in that compartment by itself. Now the beauty is, now, the cool thing about this bag is, because you have so much space up top, you can actually, when you have your, uh, when you have a zoom lens on there, and that's why I have this one right here. When you have a zoom lens, this is about the same length. Well, it's actually longer. So you got that zoom lens attached, or you got your lens hood on. You can actually just stash it just like that, and it'll be ready for when you're actually walking around and you just need to pull it out of the side of your bag. All right, so and then you can still have your other stuff in there. So this fits everything I just showed you. This bag, and it fits everything nice and nice and tight but it fits everything nice and comfortable without having to you know without being too tight and especially too loose where all your stuff is just kind of jostling around in the bag i love this bag for that reason it's not super big and uh it gets the job done it holds everything i need to hold but let's get this thing out of here because now we want to talk about the little brother right here all right so this is just made for a single camera sometimes all you need is that one camera and you're totally prepared to go out in the world with maybe one camera, one lens, and bring an extra battery. So check this out. We're gonna bring this extra, we're gonna bring this extra battery, and we're gonna use this one. And we're gonna slide it in here just like this. So you just open that up, and guess what's in here? A microfiber cleaning cloth. You know I don't go nowhere without these things. Uh, Case Logic, they provide these good ones, man. I really like these. So I keep that tucked nice and tight in there in that zipper area. You put whatever you want in there. And this right here, I'd say this is for my lens cap because I will lose a lens cap. You just slide it in there just like that while you're taking your pictures and stuff. And then when you're done, you just pop your camera in there and it's done. It's got that same uh, backpack style backing on it that goes up against your body. It's got these hooks for your detachable uh, shoulder strap there. I like that feature that you can actually take that off. Hey, and check this out. Okay, so let me put this battery in here real quick because we might need to pack that extra battery. We got plenty of room up top, so we got a lot of cushion in there. So you probably take a, a bigger lens too. Um, let me see here. But once again, that dark cloud is following you around, man. And you know what else? Because you got the luminosity connection. Um, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Why? Because you got a raincoat. You got a little raincoat for your little camera bag, man. This is so cute. All right, hold on, let's put this raincoat on, man. Put it on diaper style, let's see. Let's get it on there real quick, like, because that rain cloud is coming. We ain't got all day to be fumbling around with this thing. All right, here we go. Slide it on the side, just like that, diaper style. Bring it on the back, bam. Velcro, bam. And you still have your slits for your shoulder straps, and now you're all, now you're all protected from the elements. I love that about these bags, man. That was, that was one of the things I was actually looking for about these bags, especially this one because I can, like, if I go on a walk or something, I'm just taking one camera. I don't want to be caught, you know, in some rain or something like that. 
or you know just I don't want my bag all out in the elements like that because you know your camera's pretty expensive and you want to keep it protected but at the end of the day I really like these bags man I ain't never claimed to be an expert in this kind of stuff I'm just doing some reviews but before I go get my lunch and take my allergy medicine I'm gonna need y'all to tap on that like button and smash on that subscribe button and I'll see y'all at the next one